Aha, dinky do. A very, very good afternoon to you. It's uh, Sunday, Sunday the 21st of May 2017, and I'm Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. Just to let you know, I'll be with you tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours, British summer time, live on Facebook Live. Be there or be square, I say. Do not miss a second of the world's top broadcaster. That's me, Scotty McClue. And we're live at 10 o'clock sharp here on Facebook Live, just as we are doing right now. If you can all be good enough to get sharing and sharing and sharing, then that is absolutely brilliant. We will have a wonderful show. It's a one-hour show. It's global. It's right across the whole of Facebook. And you can join in regardless of where you're watching. This is the way ahead for television, and this is what's happening. So viewers are starting to gravitate online because of programs like the Scotty McClue Show globally. Why would they sit and watch a television company when they can have a program like this of their own and interact live with it? Because it's the interaction that people miss on television and radio. It's all very well putting on jukebox radio and wallpaper, but we saw from the results that have just come in that radio and television are not faring terribly well at the moment. And no wonder, because they're not actually putting out a real effort to get the listener to interact with their station. That's what they have to be doing. James Forbes is watching, Michael Paul McVeigh, David Gardner, Stevie McKenzie, Fred Walton, and uh, fantastic, unbiased David Gardner. That's exactly what we're talking about. I was just reading your conversation of Scottish independence, and up you pop live, says James Forbes. Absolutely, James, here I am, live, just for you, saying dinky-doo. It's just a short promo to tell you that we will, of course, be live tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, on Facebook Live. Never, ever, ever miss a second of that. Uh, lots happening tonight. What we're discussing, when Scotland becomes independent, as it must. The time is right now. The people want it. And the message is going out to Theresa May, the British Prime Minister. Scotland wishes to be free of Westminster. That doesn't mean we're going anywhere. You can't go anywhere. All it means is a change of management. It's saying to the Scottish people, would you rather be governed from Edinburgh by Scottish people who chime with you culturally and will not rip you off? Or would you like to be governed from London by people who couldn't actually give to? That's really what it's about. Uh, and, and there you are. But when Scotland becomes independent, hello, Ron Stewart, dinky doo, Craig Thomas Doherty watching, marvellous stuff. When Scotland becomes independent, uh, would the north of England, that means the northwest of England, the northeast of England, Yorkshire, and the Midlands right down to Birmingham want to become independent with the rest of Scotland. Now, <clears throat> this is actually karma. I suggested this on a, a talk radio show in Liverpool eight or nine years ago. Nine years ago, I think. And of course, everybody laughs. You always laugh at Scotty McClue. That's what you do. But if you listen carefully, I will give you really, really, really high quality factual information. That's something that the mainstream media is no longer famous for. So you'll get it from me, Scotty McClue. And remember, you heard it here first. So I suggested it, effectively moving Hadrian's Wall south. But when Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister, she devastated, absolutely devastated, and decimated this country. And Scotland lost out in a tremendous amount of economic business. And also, so did the north of England, so did Yorkshire, so did the Midlands. So all their industrial base, the coal mines, the steelworks, everything that went with it, the supply industries, the motor industry, the car industry, even uh, you know commercial radio and television, all suffered, really suffered under the hands of Margaret Thatcher, except if you're in London. She took the wealth down to London. And that meant that we need to get this back out with London. So it's time 
for the rest of the country to make up those lost years and to improve people's lot in life so that you have a proper fair society, right? And the way to do that, that's what's being advocated in Scotland at the moment, which is why the SNP, and I'm not for any political party, I'm not a political animal, but that's why the SNP do so well and have virtually all the seats in Scotland. So there you are. So if you would like to join us north of England, do that. Cameron Constable, hey Scotty Dinky Doo. Absolutely. Good afternoon, Scotty, says Alex Duff. Lovely to have you with us, Alex. Fantastic. Now, Derek McGonagall's watching. Dinky Doo to you, Derek McGonagall. Lovely to have you with us. Now, I'm begging as always for a big, 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 big favour, and you must grant me that favour, because I've earned that favour by being a household dame for the last 33 years. All right, 25 years of the Scotty McClue phone in in about um, six weeks' time. All right, no, four weeks' time. Four weeks' time celebrates 25 years of the Scotty McClue phone ins, the Jubilee year. So, grant me this favour. Go to Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Just pop it into your search engine. Pop it into Google. Scotty McClue YouTube channel and subscribe. You just click subscribe. It doesn't cost you a bean. Scotland gets preferential treatment. So why want independence? We'll lose winter fuel allowance. Scotland will keep it. Fred, Scotland doesn't actually get preferential treatment. That's how it's sold in. Scotland gives, right? Get this into your head. And every single person who doesn't know it has to take it on board. Scotland gives the UK in excess of £40 billion every year. And through this so-called Barnett formula gets back its pocket money. So that's why Westminster does not want Scotland to go because it's a cash cow and it's been robbed blind for 310 years and certainly been seriously devastated since Margaret Thatcher in 1979. And it looks like that kind of thinking is set to continue. That's the truth. There you have it. McClue tells you the truth. Common sense. Hashtag common sense. Have you got that, Fred? Have I made that fairly clear? And the same for Dave. Dave, if you're watching, that's the situation. Yes? So there you are. Hi, Scotty. I hate to say it, but I think Scotland is stuffed. Well, no, they would like to stuff Scotland because they don't want it to go. But if the Scottish people insist, then it will happen. Uh, there you go. Jim Coyle's watching. Dinky doo. And as I say, I'm not political at all. I'm purely interested in the economic side of what's going on. So you'll get the facts from McClue. That's why you need to go fund me and we'll build an independent, unbiased media. It doesn't take a lot of money. So if you can manage two pounds, three, four, five pounds, ten pounds, twenty pounds, pop it into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue right now. Grab your plastic card and stick it in. Why do people move from England to Scotland to get life-saving treatment not available in England? Because we're very advanced in education, Fred, and we're very advanced in medical science, right? And Scotland always has been. Think about it. Sir Alexander Fleming saved the lives of 16 million people right away with his penicillin. So there you are. So John Crofton oversaw all the injections so that people no longer had tuberculosis. Scotland's always been very, very advanced in its thinking. And one of the reasons for that is we don't subscribe to the class system. So when the Scots were running the empire, right, they were actually, the Scots ran the British Empire. Look at anything successful, and there's never a Scot far away from it, right? It's just that... They don't like to admit that down south. They like to keep up a London-centric southeastern slant on everything. So there you are. Uh, you get more from the NHS, says Fred Walton, only because our NHS is separate to the English NHS and is better organised. So there you are.
Uh, Darby is a statue of Bonnie Prince Charlie. Yes, he made it to Darby, and had he not fallen for the message coming out of London, he would have made it right to London and got the throne. So there you are. Fantastic. And I've told you the story before about Ronald Selby Wright writing to the abbot at Fort Augustus. Uh, I think it was, was it um, James Hunter Blair at the time. Uh, one of the Hunter Blairs of Bequan. And he was the abbot at Fort Augustus. And Selby Wright wrote to him. And I think it was his great-grandfather remembered Bonnie Prince Charles walking about Rome. And Bonnie Prince Charles died in 1786. So there you go. Uh, so that's it, Fred Walton. There's plenty of answers. Scotty, you had that bonnet on in the Cumbernauld audience. Do you wash it? Says Rab Hill. Of course not, Rab. Don't be ridiculous. I'm a very, very clean man. Why should I wash my bonnet? It gets soaked with the rain when I'm out. Uh, Nevex watching tremendous. It's a united kingdom. We should all be treated the same, says Fred. No, Fred. It's to do with we're separate parliaments in Scotland and in Wales. And if you'd any sense, you'd have a separate one for Manchester and Leeds and Birmingham and all that as well. And get sorted out. You'd come and join us in Scotland and support us instead of carping. That's what you'd do. So there we are. It's only been a United Kingdom since 1707. Scotland was independent before then and, of course, kept poor again by London. The thing is, London always has to keep all these people that it wants to rule poor and short of everything, and then they've got control. So we need to take back control. Uh, independence all the way, says Derek McGonagall. Good afternoon, Scotty. Scotland forever. Absolutely. Absolutely, guys. There you are. Right. So what I'm saying to you, can every single one of you put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel, right? It's the channel. Go on, you'll see a little red oblong there that says subscribe. Click it. It doesn't cost you a fortune. Then that's that done. Then grab your plastic card and go on to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue and stick in four or five quid. Uh, England's always at the bottom of the heaps of Fred Walton. No, Fred. That's a perception that's put out there. England is never at the bottom of the heap, right? Mrs. Thatcher made sure she took everything down to London, and that's why properties in London sell for, you know, 50, 100 million pounds when properties elsewhere in the country, you know, sell for 150 grand or whatever. Right, so England's not always at the bottom of the heap, Fred. You really have to look at what's going on. Don't be reading your newspapers without a sack of salt handy. All right, Ian Walker's watching. Dink you do, says Ian. Absolutely. Lovely to hear from you. Can we have a share of this video right now? Share, 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 share. Can I also tell you that you can follow me on Periscope? We're doing a lot of Periscopes these days. So you can follow me on Periscope and catch up there as well. Also LinkedIn, if you like to follow me on LinkedIn. If you follow me on Facebook, get all your friends to follow me. Very funny guy, ultra bright, gets the phone book. It says rap, absolutely, no problem at all. Uh, Fred says, well, I'm going to sell up and move to Scotland, Indy or no Indy. Everybody would love to be under the present Scottish government you can see it even people in the south of england are seething then they see nicola sturgeon on television they think wow so there you go fantastic stuff mary cart is watching dinky do i can tell you that not a problem uh, right folks so here's the agenda very very quickly tonight 10 o'clock sharp facebook live where we are right now make sure you are there two Go to, go on to YouTube and uh, put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel and click subscribe. I need about another 145 of you. Um, also follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Those of you that have got a Twitter account, go on to at Scotty McClue, all one word, and follow me on Twitter. And uh, you can follow me on Periscope. Share the broadcast there, very, very important. You can go fund me at gofundme.com forward slash Scotty McClue 
or paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue or one word. We look to Scotland for all our ideas on civilization. Voltaire, says Duncan McNiven. Duncan, that's a stroke of genius. Also Winston Churchill, who was married to a Scot, said only the ancient Greeks have done more for civilization than the Scots. So he understood that. That's a date. See you tonight, says Doreen Rennick. Can we kiss? See you tonight, Doreen. Dinky do, my darling. Fantastic. That goes for every single one of you. The wonderful Marcy Puffin is watching. I say dinky do to you, Marcy. And I hope you are going from strength to strength and keeping strong and keeping well and keeping your eye on the light. That's what I say. Uh, marvelous stuff. Share the video, guys. You've shared it, Marcy. Bless you. I say that is absolutely tremendous. And guys, keep sharing it. I know you must get fed up seeing Scotty McClue pop up all the time on Facebook, but just go the full bit and uh, share and share and share and share and share. Scotland should be free. It's a nation unto itself. It's been treated unfairly all these years. Scotland does not need England. It's taking its right like a national pickpocket. When I hear the Scots scotch anthem well i won't press see more because the last time i did that it cancelled the broadcast we'll follow you up the garden path mr McClure. dinky do fantastic right i'm going to do everybody a favor and push off i'll see you tonight on here 10 o'clock sharp this is the way i don't know if you saw i published a big article from the new york times this is the way television is going internationally so it's going on to the net and Scotty McClure is just an example of what is to come. The television companies have only got themselves to blame for not keeping up there, for not hiring Scotty McClure. Can I tell you, radio figures, audience figures came out yesterday. And some of my old stations are doing appallingly badly. So you need to come back. Shout for McClure. There's no shame in coming back to me and saying, Scotty. Would you like a show on our network? Because we need audience figures big time so we can make a lot of money again. I've made millions and millions of pounds for media owners over the years. So there you go. Uh, Scotty, do you still have the gloves with no fingers? I do, I do. I don't actually have them on at the moment because uh, my psoriasis is improving. You can see it there. It's quite good. Uh, but uh, I shall put the fingers bits on for you and wag the Scotty McClure finger, definitely. So there you go, we shall do that. Now, uh, just before you all go, I need to ask you a favor, right? I've got other headgear here. Should we change from wearing the bonnet to the Glengarry, right? That's what I need to know. So should we change from the bonnet to the Glengarry, right? Glengarry, Glengarry. Hold that thought. All right, Glengarry. Bunnet coming up. Off we go again. Bunnet. Bunnet. Okay, so you decide Glengarry or Bunnet, right? Do you want just one more preview? Bunnet. Watching. Bunnet. Got that? Okay, here we go. And Glengarry. 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 Yep. On maybe at that angle, the Glengarry. Looking quite smart. There we are. I'll just get my wee bobble squared up. How's that, guys? So what do you think? So let me know what's what. Bonnet, cap, or Glengarry. Right, here we go. Bonnet on again. Marvellous stuff. Quick change artist, you see, from my days in pantomime. Marvellous. There we are. Definitely the cap. Get rid of the bonnet, says Adam Owens. Very dapper, says Marcy Puffin. The bonnet for winter and the others on a sunny day. So there we are. I might wear the big jackaroo Australian hat. Uh, so there you are. My leather Australian hat, the jackaroo. I might pop that on for you. Right. It's time I wasn't here. Lovely to see you all. Have a great day. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A wait, or a war, and a cheerio. Dinky do, my love. Ta-da!